The purpose of this video is to get you started in doing your group project. And the first thing you need to do for your group projects is, of course, choose your group members. Once you've chosen, as soon as you've chosen, the four or five people who are going to be in your group working with you on the project, you need to email me immediately and let me know who is going to be in your group. So email me the names of your group members. I can then put you into groups. And then in D2L, you can see the group drop boxes and the group discussion boards. If I have haven't put you in there, you won't be able to see the drop box and you won't be able to submit anything. So once I have placed you in the groups that you've requested to be in, you can click on the course and then you should click on Dropbox. The drop box will give you four different options. The pre-project report, the full project one, project two, and project three. What we're concerned about right now is the pre-project report. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And when I do, instructions will pop up. So it says, with your group of four to five compatible colleagues, we're going to create and submit one single Microsoft Word document. The document needs to include these three things. Number one, a list of all of the members of the group. Number two, a paragraph that describes who we are going to survey, when, where, and how. And number three, it needs to include a list of questions that we're going to ask. We're required to ask at least five questions in our survey. You need to keep in mind when you're doing this that who you're going to survey needs to include a description of the person being adult because you certainly are required not to survey children in this class project. And you also need to keep in mind that you need to tell your subjects as you're surveying them that their results will be anonymous. Then once you have written your Word document, including all three of those things, to add the file we click on Add a File and Browse. And then we need to find under desktop, I like to store mine on desktop, we need to find here where our file is. So here I have pre-project one and my group name and I can open it and then upload. And then even after I've uploaded, I've got to click submit. You can leave comments if you want to or not but most of what you have to say should be in the project document itself and then you absolutely must click submit. When you click submit you should get an email that tells you that you have correctly submitted so I can go to email Dropbox submission receipt and it should say that it received my submission to the pre-project report. I can also go back to the Dropbox and I really should go back to the Dropbox and click on this submission and make sure it's okay. So I click on the submission and I can reopen the file and I can read the file here and I can download it and here we can read the file and make sure that everything is in this file that needs to be in the file. So I've got the name of my group, all of my group members. I've got a paragraph description of the who, what, when, where, why, how, all the stuff that's needed in there. And then I've got my list of at least five questions that I'm going to ask in my survey. And that's everything that you need to do for the pre-project report.